everybody. Uh, like so many of these videos uh, on this batch, uh, we're turning on the camera way too late because, uh, well, deadlines and uh, the client takes precedent over you. I'm, I'm not really sorry because uh, we're delivering this. Um, we are about to ship out to Alaska and a couple of the final things we have to do is the Book of the Dead. And you were looking at that going together. And uh, if you're really careful, I'm not sure what's in frame right now, you might see some answers. <laughs> I've got a stack of hinges that didn't work, and I will show you why. So this is was uh, the first iteration of the, the hinge pieces. So you can see that pin goes through there, or a uh, uh, threaded rod goes through there, and then these little, little teeth would hold each of the pages on a different level so that that one could open up, and then that one, and then that one. I didn't really like the geometry on this one, and I kind of realized there was going to be a conflict, but I hadn't really worked it out in my head or done an actual 3D model, so I wasn't real sure where that conflict was. So my second version in my head, just having the longer necks on these individual hinge pieces was going to do it, but uh, not quite. So here's kind of that stack of hinges as it would be. And the problem with this is that if this was a page going in there, like so, it still wouldn't let it close all the way because the, uh, the bottom of that would conflict with the top of this one. So on the actual hinges, instead of being able to do this nice solid full lock that's going to be a much better seam, like one of those, uh, I've only got this, this kind of half lock on each one. So I got the half lock on here and make sure I keep the right hinge with the right piece and the half lock on here. Um, this means that the uh, the weld is a little harder to get. Uh, the bottom one still has, uh, I guess, more, like more of a half lock instead of just this quarter lock. And that one went on fine the first time. But the rest of these are requiring basically a lot of care and individually making sure that they're clamped this way and that way so that they are uh, making solid connection. Um, cover of the Book of the Dead. And uh, in a couple of cuts, we'll show you a whole assembled Book of the Dead. So coming back to, we got the, the right kind of hinge, and uh, now we're putting it together. Uh, my first go round, I tried to uh, just kind of put on the bottom page, get all the hinges together in the same stack, get those uh, attacked up, but I couldn't get enough clamping pressure the way I had that. Uh, so now I am doing them all independently and just making sure that everything stays nice and flushed in there, and most importantly, uh, vertical to the, uh, the rest of the piece. Uh, so. I'm going to put some goop on this. Uh, I'm not repriming this right now because it's already been primed kind of twice. Because after priming it and it falling apart, I had to use a fair amount of acetone to uh, clean up my mess. So this PVC is good and etched. And outboard, you get goop there. Uh, Make sure you're all plenty of gooped. And you go on there. Get off the bulk of the excess. Clamp it one. And I think once this sets pretty well, I am also going to tap out some very tiny holes for some pins or like some number four screws just to give it an extra bit of mechanical lock in addition to the, uh, the chemical weld that we are doing right now with the PVC cement. Uh, and we couldn't find it on this go round because we just went to uh, our local regular hardware store and not our specialty supplier. But for the PVC, because I like using this stuff, we want to find a, uh, a full liquid uh, glue that we can get this clamped up and then just kind of squirt that in there as we would with acrylic. But we don't have that yet or even really know that it exists. So uh, that'll be next time around. That's all I got right now.
I'm in the Book of the Dead. There's like magic spells and stuff in there now. Uh, this is not the finished product, uh, but this is basically the end of it as far as I'm concerned because uh, now I have to hand this to Mark to make it painted and weathered and stone and pretty. Uh, but structurally, it's, uh, it's there, just about. Um, so it, it works. I, uh, as with anything, uh, if I do a version two of this, I have a couple of tweaks I'm going to make. And if I do a version two of this, you will see those in a future video. Um, while in the last uh, set, of, set of scenes, I was talking about how the welds weren't going together quite well, our new assistant, Calvin, said, hey, I used to work with a guy who did uh, welding on water pipes, and there's apparently a plastic welder. So he is now on the way back from Harbor Freight to grab one of those. So uh, before this goes to Mark for painting, we're going to take that and just kind of uh, shore up these seams a little bit. It's pretty sturdy. It all cured pretty well, but... Um, this is going to an escape room where it will be attacked by drunken gorillas, or I have to assume that because it may actually happen. Um, so yeah, uh, next up, Mark gets to paint it, and uh, then we put it in our backpack, and we take some. We're going to take some weird stuff on the plane with us to Anchorage. Um, we will probably be stopped by the TSA because uh, a lot of weird stuff. Okay, off camera, I have uh, I've painted these with uh, urethane uh, paint, so that's uh, it's a base coat for uh, for cars, um, and we did that just because it's tough. Uh, I intentionally did not paint them uniformly, so it looks a little bit more mottled, a little bit. Uh, but we're going to go a little bit further than that. Anna is painting one of the uh, here's an insert shot. Anna is painting um, the one of the pages uh, with, with gilded hieroglyphs. Uh, the others will not get that, and uh, this is alcohol-based stain. I poured it without putting gloves on. That's not smart. I look like an Iraqi voter now. Uh, the, the whole binding is done in, in gilding. By the way, uh, this mat just goes freaking brilliant sometimes. This assembly right here is actually a captured nylon nut on the inside of this. It's a, it's a stop nut, one of the ones that grip so you have to use a rinse to take it off. It doesn't just spin off or vibrate off. Um, so that is captured inside this assembly, and these two end plates um, are what actually hold the, the whole binding assembly together. Um, that is getting gilded. And next, I'm going to use a piece of natural sea sponge to uh, antique these pages a bit. So let's do that. All right, guys. Uh, sorry we sound like this, but we uh, the mics are already packed up, so it's going to sound all hollow and weird. Um, uh, Matt and I are headed off to Alaska, and we're going to take the cameras with us and film the installation, and hopefully you'll see that soon. Thanks again for everybody, and, and uh, show me what you built this week. Yeah, send, you have homework. Send pictures. Do your homework.